Your Graces, General Sir John Lady Gibbon, Mr. Ma, Madam Mayoress, and distinguished guests, welcome to the Royal Arsenal. This ceremony will write another line in the history of the Royal Arsenal, a history which goes back some 300 years, when this site was known as Woolwich Warren. It was purchased by the Crown in 1671 for use as an ordnance storage depot and was expanded to a munitions factory in 1696 when the Royal Laboratory was constructed for the purpose of manufacturing ammunition, fuses and gunpowder. The central parts of the Royal Laboratory, which we have preserved, are the earliest surviving buildings in the arsenal today. There is much nostalgia about the arsenal. There are over 3,000 people working here today, many of whom have worked here all their lives. Indeed, there may possibly be some here who were born here. The decision to close the Royal Ordnance Factory in March 1967 was a blow, not only to the employees, but also to the town itself, which after all did grow from the arsenal. The subsequent sale of much of the land marked the end of an era. Fortunately, the architectural merit and historic value of some of the buildings contained in this, the western part, were recognized as worthy of preservation. And so it came about that this small part of the original hundreds of acres was retained for the Minister of Defense. Most of the less desirable buildings have been removed and modern ones have taken their place. Every effort is being made and will continue to be made to create an environment which will provide the facilities required to meet modern needs whilst retaining the links with the past. The Woolwich Master Plan for rebuilding the site made provision for the statue of the Duke of Wellington to be recited within the inner security fence. And this, as you see, has been finally accomplished. Other historical pieces from the Royal Arsenal have been incorporated within the surrounding wall to make a memorial. These are not all contemporary with the statue. We thought that the move afforded an opportunity to bring together such fine pieces of equipment and structure that remained with us. Now about the guns. The larger cannon are of the type used at the Battle of Waterloo. They are smooth bore brass six pounders. The one on the left of the statue is dated 1850, the one on the right 1855. In both instances, I'm afraid, the carriages are not original. The small cannon are smooth bore bronze three pounders. The one on the left is dated 1807, the one on the right 1813. All four of these cannons were made here at Woolwich. And now the frieze. The particularly fine 19th century cast iron work incorporated in the wall originated from the buildings which until recently adjoined the pavilions of the Royal Laboratory. The upper frieze depicts cannon, cannon shot, royal ciphers and reproduction of some ordnance parts. There are also some Congreve rockets. The lower frieze contains the initials of members of the Royal Laboratory Committee who were appointed by the Master General and the Board of Ordnance in 1852 to draw up a scheme for improving the efficiency of the Royal Laboratory. The small shield holding the initials RMG are those of Lord Raglan, the Master General of the day. The Chieftain Tank and the Light Gun are there to show that we don't live in the past and to demonstrate our modern work. Now, the statue itself. This is by Thomas Milnes, who presented it to the Board of Ordnance in 1848. It was originally erected in the Tower of London to complement the Waterloo Barracks there. It was moved to Woolwich in 1863, where it stood for 111 years to the south of the Grand Stores. The statue records the great Duke of Wellington as Master General of the Ordnance, a post he held between 1818 and 1827. It is the Duke of Wellington's association as Master General of the Ordnance which links him most closely with Woolwich and makes it so appropriate that the 8th Duke of Wellington, 
has joined with General Sir John Gibbon, the 69th Master General of the Ordnance, to officiate at this ceremony today. We are also particularly pleased to see such a strong Royal Artillery participation in this ceremony. This is right and proper. The associations between the Royal Arsenal and the Royal Regiment have been strong indeed, and today's ceremony underlines that relationship. This occasion heralds the start of a new era in the history of the Royal Arsenal, marking as it does the final part of the modernization program carried out for us by the Property Services Agency of the Department of the Environment. It does provide us with the opportunity to shake off some of the sadness that has surrounded the arsenal since the Royal Ordnance Factory closed. Old Woolwich Arsenal has a glorious history. Thank heavens this has not been lost. The best of it remains, and dare I say, the quality part. Long may it continue.